David? Yeah? Can I buy you a drink? Buy me a drink? I want to talk to you. Oh, sure. It says reserved. Is that okay? You're awfully sweet. Do you know that? <laughs> My father left this to me, otherwise I'd be living in a duplex on Melrose. Can I ask you something? Anything. What were you doing out there tonight? You may not like it. Do you understand eccentricities, David? Eccentricities? Lately I've come to, yeah. Well, good. Then maybe you'll understand mine. Sometimes I drink martinis, but not because I particularly like gin. I like Spanish olives. Things are not always what they appear. Okay. Thank you. I have too much time and too much money. That's why I do volunteer work at the hospital. Well, one of the reasons. When I'm not involved with a man, my fantasies have nowhere to go, if you know what I mean. So every once in a while, I put on something tight and sexy and take a walk. And those men looking for girls drive by and they go crazy. <laughs> Am I being immodest? I know. <laughs> and that's all. That's all? It is for me. I said I was eccentric, David, not crazy. <laughs> I tell them to drive around the block. I'm worried about cops and meet me on the corner. They drive around the block and I'm gone. Do you hate me? No. That's why I was down there. I won't ask why you were. I don't care. This is a special night, Dave. Don't be afraid. Be free with me. I can be everything you ever wanted. No, David. Not yet. I want tonight to last forever. Off to more wine.
down, David. Too bad our little fantasy had to end so soon. I am a righteous man. I am a righteous man. No, David. You're like all the others. You wear your righteousness like a coat, so when it gets too warm, you can slip into something more comfortable. Desire.